So I'm looking at YouTube last night, and uh, a video stopped playing, and another video came up. I wasn't even looking. And I come back to the screen, and I end up seeing this thing right here. I'm like, whoa, that's the new NPC. Or is it? Oh, shit. But guess what? I did not see the APC on the edge. Okay, that's when I stop it. I go like... So then I go to the Akai website. I see this, of course. You know, I'm going like this. Okay, forget that. <laughs> that's enough of that thing. But I get to the Akai website, and I scroll back up, and I see this here like this. Okay, that's cool. It's got the colors to it. You know, they made it look really nice and shiny. I do like the black overall look to it. Now, this is it, the APC-64. It's the Ableton Live controller with sequencer and touch strips made by Akai for, I guess, any music brands. Now, of course, I go to eBay. I want to do a price comparison, right? The old and the new. So the old one is the Push 2 from Ableton. As I scroll down here, you'll see here, it's 350 here. There's uh, 450 here when the bidding ends. It'll probably be close to that. We got 300, 375 right here, and 399. So the price I'm thinking for a used Push 2 should be roughly around 400 bucks and below. So now I'm sort of looking at these other devices, these Ableton devices that are here from Akai. So let's go to the top of this list here. I'm actually in eBay. Here's eBay right here. And we have the one that's brand new right now. Obviously this guy's a dealer, Alto Music, and he's signed up for the price suggested by Akai. And below here we have the Akai APC Mini Controller. It's probably the first one that came out with, right? And that's 200 bucks. And then that's just a rack. And over here below this, we have the APC40 MK2 for Ableton Live, right? And this is 300 bucks right here, not into a bidding war. And this is the price to ship it in the US. So the price is about 300 bucks used for the APC40 Mach 2. But right here, we have the APC40 Mach 2, and this guy's selling it for $171.62, and there are zero bids for this thing. No one's even thinking about getting it, and there are four days left for this bid. So I don't think that's even going to go for that price. And the one below here, pre-owned, is selling it for uh, $179.95. So, whoa. So that's pretty cheap. But if I get the push... The Push 2 is only about 400 bucks, and the Push 2 does everything it's supposed to do. It's a device made by Ableton. So I don't know about getting this new Akai APC 64, but you gotta make a choice. But anyway, there is a difference, and it looks like getting the Push 2 is probably better. Now here we have the Push 3. And there are variations too. One's a standalone and one's a connect push to your computer. The standalone is about $2,000, which is pretty freaking expensive, of course. And you get this Intel 11th generation core, the i3, you know, you get all the stuff inside of it. Uh, built in 256 gigabytes of SSD hard drive. That's a lot of space. I like that totally, of course. You get this battery that lasts two hours and a half I I don't even understand that anyway the other one is just a push connect you connect it to your system and they got the 64 pads here and you can do your thing and this is a thousand dollars compared to four hundred dollars for the Akai APC 64 so we get that now you can probably get this push here and then upgrade to the other push uh, they got a kit down here upgrade kit here it is and the upgrade kit here will cost you 1000 and change. So that's like crazy almost because it's $2,000 the way it is. The upgrade kit will be available in late 2003, it says here. So it's late now to me in October and they haven't updated this thing. So maybe they're slow pushing this out. Don't know. But it's an obvious fact that this is pretty expensive. And so getting a push two might be the deal.